So we got to meet up with our friends one more time before we left, and they made sure to send us off with lots of booze and baked goods. So thank you guys. If you're watching, we love you. <laughs> Don't point that at me. Which way should I point it? Oh, God. <laughs> So we've been staying in um, in Longmont. Yeah, we're just in our hometown um, at a campground that's nothing special, but it's it's been great for our needs while we finish up some business here. We, we've lived here for three years, and I'm really embarrassed to say, like, we haven't even explored the side of town. We just had no idea that it was this impressive. The dogs have been just absolutely loving it. The St. Brain Greenway is incredible. So this is the first time I've ever tried to use the dump station, like, at all. So uh, this could be really good or really bad. We shall see. Yay! It works. That's not hard. We've been in the bus for three nights now. Um, we've used our wood-burning stove because it got down to like 41 last night, which was uh, I was excited about it. I like I like cold weather and I definitely wanted to fire up the stove so that was cool. We're already just by living in the bus experiencing some new things. So I'm trying to start off on the right foot and get work done in here. Hasn't been a problem. I'm working on a portrait right now of cute storm. Tuco is actually looking out the window watching the equestrian show across the street and loving that. Frankie's comfortable. She decided that she wanted to be up here. Silly girl. And I'm making some mac and cheese. <sighs> well, I guess so. How long, how many days have we been in the bus proper? This is our sixth night. Is that right? So, here's what happened. So we thought we were moving into the bus Monday night. We were not ready. Tuesday night. Not even close. Not ready. By Wednesday night, we were sleeping in the bus, but it was in the driveway of our house. Thursday night as well. Friday night, we parked at this campground, which is in our hometown. So this is our sixth yeah, I guess so. In the bus. We thought we were doing a pretty good job of getting rid of all of our stuff. We had yard sales, we had <laughs> throwing stuff away, giving stuff away, like loads, carloads of stuff. And come to find out, like once we started open up, opening up and really dealing with the stuff in drawers and cabinets and the stuff that was kind of tucked away, that was where everything really was. And it's stuff that's useful, but you have to decide, am I going to use this in the next six months? Months, and if so, where am I gonna put it? That was where the stress came. I don't know where a lot of stuff is. Our storage and organization right now is still very much like, mm -hmm. who knows, like we're looking for a ton of stuff right now. So we're really hoping to fine tune our organization and, and know where everything is and, and be a little bit better about it. But yeah. right now things are a little 
All of that to say, not to, not to talk too much about what has happened, so what really, what I guess the interesting part is, is how the bus has been. There's, there have been some, uh, some struggles and some things that we're still figuring out, and sure. there's also been some good things. We've noticed things going exceptionally well. Um, everything has worked, nothing has that broken, <laughs> nothing has, everything is working the way we expect it to be working. Yeah. The biggest question mark, I think for me still, is still just the, the health of the engine and the mechanics of the engine. It gets a little warm, so uh, we're going to have someone look at it uh, just to, to change the fuel filter, a few other things, before we make our long first trip. I clipped a corner coming into this campground, like, pretty hard. This was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And, uh, you like that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Everything stayed put. Everything. And, like, aside from a legit accident, that's as rough as it's gonna get. Not that I wanted to do that, but it was nice to see that at that much of a, a jolt, everything was fine. So let's talk about what has been a little hard. I've hit my head several times. This explains a lot. Yeah, <laughs> shut up. And I've scraped my arm a couple times, changing clothes and stuff. I'm learning the space and I've like hit some corners, I've hit my head like <laughs> trying to um, uh, like, I haven't had any of these yeah, problems. To, to curtains and stuff. Apparently I don't have very good body awareness, but I will, I'll, I'll learn the space, but I have like had a few minor scrapes um, trying to figure out tiny living. Tuco sheds so much. Every morning we're gonna have to sweep. We're gonna have to sweep twice a day if we want it to be halfway decent in here. It gets messy really fast. Uh, not just the floors with Tuco hair, but like the countertops get covered with computers and, and food prep stuff. You just leave it and forget about it. Right, yeah, and trying to figure out where to put shoes has been a little bit of a struggle. Well, no, we know where to put them. We're just not putting them away. <laughs> I thought it was going to be really easy to eat and then one of us do the dishes one, and we take turns and it's no big deal. But we've been leaving dishes in the sink already and that's a bad sign. Well, not a bad sign, we just got to be better about it. Ow! <laughs> I hit my head again. Did you just hit your head? I did. Tiffany also had some dentist work done today. So yeah, so that's why we stuck around a little longer in Longmont because it turns out some of my silver fillings from childhood were starting to corrode a little bit. There was the very beginnings of cavities around them, so I got four fillings replaced today. I didn't know it was that many. Four. Anyway, not to make this go on too long, um, something that has been fantastic that we touched on briefly when we showed our hiking, vlogging, sort of part of everything is that you know we're in a part of the town that we don't spend much time in and we totally literally just stumbled upon what's called the St. Rain Greenway. The past three days we've walked a total of almost 20 miles which we could have been doing for the this past whole four time. years. There's, we, no, there's no excuse in our for defense, it. In our defense the, the greenway goes basically all through the town. We went to the east part of it. It's kind of cool not like super impressive um, let's be real, and so we were like, ads ah, probably all kind of like this, and um, it was kind of nice, but you know, not not awe-inspiring, and so we were just, eh, you know, we'll, we'll pass, it's fine. The west side of the Greenway is night and day difference, it's gorgeous, so right in town. So much wildlife, Bird beautiful watching. ponds, places where Tuco can run and splash, like, great bike trails, it's, it's, been it's great. stupid. We've sort of sacrificed going into the mountains and hiking and taking the dogs a lot of cool places because we've been working on the build pretty much every weekend. Every spare moment has been the bus, and so we've been okay with that for the most part because we think the bus is going to help us do more hiking and do get out more. Yes, we're still in the same city. The fact that we're here in the bus on this side of town has made us explore the area and we found places that we didn't know existed. So if you're in Longmont, if you're living in the Longmont area, check out the St. Rain Greenway, especially the west side around Hoker because good lord, it's it is awesome. awesome. Yeah. So sorry for the long hiatus, uh, we've just been getting everything together, figuring all our stuff out. And, 
we've been busy and, and we haven't driven the bus much. We only driv have driven across town. So the real, the bus is going to be put through its paces, not tomorrow, but the day after. So Wednesday, uh, the bus will really, you know, we're going to get it on the interstate for the first time. And um, we're really going to see how it performs. It's geared for the interstate, so it should be fine. Um, but uh, I'm a little apprehensive about its temperature. I want to make sure that it doesn't stay at 210, or if it does, it doesn't for long. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for sticking with us while we've been silent. Um, please, if you like our videos, please do like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a ton. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time we chat. We'll be in... Probably South Dakota. Yeah, probably we'll be in South Dakota. That's our first destination. Yeah. So we're excited. There's supposed to be some snow there. So. Yeah, we have some business to uh, take care of there. Uh, we're not going to be there very long because it's supposed to be snowing. Subscribe if you want to follow along. Um, if you're interested in becoming a patron, there's a link below. And we really appreciate you watching. And thanks to all of our patrons. Uh, you guys are great. Really appreciate it. Uh, that community. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Until next time. Bye. <laughs>